we are going to see today two uh, sensors one is the proximity sensor and another we are going to see the sound mechanism we are going to see the by changing the frequency of the sound what will be the output we are going to see that so these are the two applications we are going to see today so first one we are going to see the proximity sensor so basically what is proximity sensor is uh, whenever uh, the sensor detects any object okay so it glows the led light and whenever the object is moved so it just discloses the led light so this is what the proximity sensor does okay so <coughs> we can say uh, like uh, if we detect some object okay so led will blink and if the object is moved or the object moves on led light stops okay so by this we can detect if any object or any human being is moving in the uh, we can say a uh, privacy uh, cabin okay so there we can use this proximity sensor okay so i will be telling you the code first uh so first we are going to see the code so in this uh, for example as you can see in the video so this is the proximity sensor and there are two leds okay the first one is the white and the second one is the black this black one what does this led does is it uh, takes the uh, any uh, you can say disturbance and if the disturbance is uh, Uh, is received by this led so it will just glow this next red light led what does this mean is if any object is received by this led that is black color led then it will tell the arduino uno board that object is detected and the arduino uno 13 pin is by default pin of the arduino uno which then give the output to this um, proximity sensor and the red led will glow okay that means what the object is detected and we will if we remove the any object so the led goes in off mode okay so this is what the functioning of the proximity sensor so the coding starts with the variable decla declaration okay so we have to keep that variable constant throughout the program okay so that's why we are using the keyword as constant c o n s t that is constant then as we are giving the variable some p number and it is in integer so that's why we are using the data type as int okay int and the variable name i am declaring is as proxy prox sensor okay and i am giving it the arduino uno digital pin number okay i have already told the basic of arduino uno board and its uh, pins okay that's why whatever we are mentioning in this code we are mentioning the pins of the arduino uno okay so we are taking the proxy sensor uh, pin number as 2 from the arduino uno board okay then again we are having two default functions in arduino id those are what void setup so in that what we do is we mention the mode of the pins whether it is in output mode or in input mode okay so in this i will using pin mode function we have already studied what does the pin mode function is pin mode function takes the first parameter as what pin number okay so first key is having okay, pin is 13 why 13 because pin 13 has an LED connected on most Arduino board. Okay, so whatever out the your LED glows. Okay, so this B is actually the input output port. Okay, so whenever the object is detected, Arduino Uno 13 pin sends the signal to the proximity sensor by telling it that the object is detected and it glows the red pin, red LED. Sorry. Okay, so that's why we are using your Arduino Uno third. and we are setting it as output because it is glowing the red led don't forget the semicolon 
Then again, we are taking in mode. And we are picking it here as box sensor comma input by input i'm already i've already told you the red uh, sorry the black led over here okay it is going to receive the signals or the disturbance and it is going to send the uh, disturbance signals to the arduino uno right what does this mean that the object is detected and we have to do some functioning right so the arduino uno 13 pin sends the signal again to this d pin and the red led will glow i hope you have understood okay the proxy sensor will take the input signal okay so these are the two pins we are going to require okay now you will be having question that here is the only d pin and you are mentioning here two pins right so i am again once again telling you that the 13 pin is the arduino uno 13 pin and it will send the signal back to the proximity sensor that we have detected the object and the red led will glow and proxy sensor is the actually digital pin of the arduino uno that is uh, if we have mentioned it to so d2 pin of the arduino uno board and we have given it to the d so that it will that is one 13 one is the output from arduino uno to the red led okay. and the next one is the proxy sensor that is this black led which will be detecting the disturbance and giving it to the Arduino Uno for performing some function that is going the red LED. Okay, so these are the two pins we are going to use for the proxy sensor. Next is the void loop function. Okay. So here we are going to write one statement if else statement. Okay, so if by if, if the object is detected, we are going to grow the red led okay so for that we will be writing if as it's taking the digital input so we are going to write here digital read as it is it's taking the input as you can see here we have mentioned the mode as input that's why we have written it digital read as it is taking the digital signal as an input okay then box sensor and here equals to equals to high. Why high? That if it detects some object, so the signal will be high. And it will be received by the second pin of the Arduino Uno. And that is in the form of digital. Right? Digital signal. That's why we have written there function as digital read. Okay. Written here the variable name. Okay. Should be inside. Okay. And equals to equals to high. Hope you have understood it. Okay, then we will be taking the curly brackets of the if loop. Okay. So in if we are going to write digital right, and here we are going to mention the 13 pin of the Arduino Uno. Okay, that is 13, comma. Here we are going to keep it as high. Okay. Okay, so what we have done is we are doing the digital write 13 pin as high. Why? Because as we have detected the object, we want to make this red color LED glow. And this uh, signal is sent by the Arduino Uno 13 number pin. Okay, so that's why we have made it is high. And then we are going to write the else part. Okay, in else part, what we'll be doing is we will be setting it as low. But when the object is not detected, so the LED should go in low state, that is in off state. Okay. So anyone having any doubt till now in the code? And I will be running the code. So where I will be going is in tools. I will be checking whether my port is connected with the Arduino you know, port. Okay. It's connected, then we will first compile our code to check whether there are some errors or not. Yeah, so it's have run simply well. There are no errors, and we will be uploading our sketch on the Arduino Uno to run the code. After running, the output will be similar to like this. If we have connected the 
B2 pin of the Arduino Uno board. That is, we have considered as variable name as clock sensor and given it to the digital pin of the proximity sensor. Proximity sensor has three pins, ground, high volt and digital pin. Okay, so we have done that. Then we have connected the five volt pin of the Arduino Uno to the five volt of the proximity sensor ground pin of the Arduino Uno to the ground pin of the proximity sensor. And when we run the code, you can see the output like this. That when we place an object, I'm placing my hand, that is also an object. So when I'm placing the hand over the black LED, so it detects the object and it will glow the red LED. Okay. So it will only glow when the hand will come over the black LED. Then and then only it will sense the object and it will glow the red LED. Okay, so this is what is the proximity sensor. We are going to see the sound system. Okay. We have already seen the buzzer, right? I hope uh, those who are attending the training from starting, they know the buzzer. So we are just today going to see the advance of the buzzer sensor. That is, we are going to use the tone function in that. So this is the tone function. It's similar to the code of buzzer that we have seen in previous uh, in previous trainings, day one training. Okay, it's similar to that, but only instead of the buzzer or digital write, we have taken here tone function. Okay, what we have done is we have replaced. I will show you again the code of the uh, buzzer, so you can just recall it. So this was our buzzer program. So in that we have, uh, so this is the uh, buzzer and push button program, okay? So in that we have taken the int buzzer, okay? And buzz for buzzer we write digital right, okay? To keep the buzzer as high and to keep the buzzer as low. So instead of this buzzer uh, digital right function, we are using here the on function. Here we are using the tone function instead of the digital write. Digital write takes only two parameters that is the pin number and the second one is high or low. But tone functions takes the three parameters. First one is the pin number, okay. The second one is the tone, okay. And the last one is the delay, okay. Tone has itself has some uh, delay. Delay means what here in tone function? For how long you want to keep that tone running? Okay, so this is the delay function, uh, sorry, delay uh, parameter in the tone function. Okay, and this delay is that after playing each tone, you have to stop for some time and then play an another tone. Okay, so please make it sure. So this delay in the function is for how long you want to run that tone. Okay, and this delay is that after each tone, how much time you have to uh, stop and again play that tone. Okay. So basically what we are doing here is, we are meant first of all declaring the variable that is int sound equals two. We have again used a digital pin number two of the Arduino Uno board. Okay. Then in word setup, again we have mentioned pin mode, sound and output. Right? And in void loop, we have only use the two function. One is the tone function and another is the delay function. So first param first line is the tone sound, that is the pin number in short. 3000 is the frequency, okay? And frequency means if we go on increasing the frequency, the higher the sound of the tone will be, okay? And this is the, uh, we can say the time span, okay? For how much we want to uh, keep that tone running okay and delay so we have to uh, delay that how much we have to stop between the each tone okay so it is constant 2000 2000 after each tone and what we make changes over here is that if we will just copy paste these two functions each time how much uh, tones you have to generate okay so each time you are just increasing the frequency of the tone and then again decreasing, increasing, 
and decreasing okay so uh, if you uh, go on google and search sare gam up frequencies okay so in that case uh, what we will be uh, getting is the frequency numbers okay so if you put that frequency over here so your buzzer will uh, you can say play the sare gam up tone you can just google the uh, frequency over there and you can put it over here and this type of taken the random numbers over here just to show how the tone function works okay so if we go and they have already done it it sound so if we run this code okay similar way just is we are going to compile it and then we are going to upload it okay so after uh, doing this so what will be output is i will be showing you here so so what we have done given the here buzzer requires only two pins one is ground and one is digital so d2 pin to the digital pin and ground of the id known to the ground of the buzzer and when we run it then you can see as we have in decrease and increase the frequency of the buzzer that is tone the similar way it will sound okay so if we give here the frequencies of sare gamma so it will just play the sare gamma tone 